What up, dude? What are we doing today? We are going to install our Renlist uh, front license plate adapter kit on the Porsche 911 Cayman. Some states require you to have a front license plate, and Texas is one of those states. Now, per the Texas law, you must have your front license plate mounted on the exterior of the front of the vehicle. So, based on that, and my consulting with a couple of local sheriffs that I know, legally, you can't just put the license plate in the windshield like many people do. So, because we don't want to get pulled over for no reason, and we're trying to be as cooperative with the, our fellow law enforcement, the laws, and just have fun with our car without any trouble. We're going to put a front license plate on, but we don't want to drill into the face of this beautiful front bumper, this beautiful nose of the Porsche. So, this guy right there, it's a little hole that's already there. It's got a, a, a bleh, color matched cap to it. I used a plastic pry really carefully. You pry it off and you're going to do it from the top left corner. There's an opening. It's not, you can't see the opening, but that's the gap. And you take it out. And that's where this adapter kit from Brendless is going to go. So, what do you get from Renless? Well, you get a really complete kit. And, <clears throat> excuse me, Renless is known for that in the Porsche community. Comes with instructions, it's fairly, sim fairly simple. You're going to get all your hardware. I'll move that all over here so we can see it. Okay. And first off, this is the receiving end of it. And this is, this threads into the tow hook area on the Cayman on the hole on that bumper when you take the cap off. So this just threads in until you get to the back, until you get to the stop, and then you just give it a good tug. It just threads in until you get to the end and just give it a good twist and lock it in good. It just hand tight. Then this guy is going to insert here, and you see these detents right here. Wherever you want it, however far you want it, from this point all the way out to the last detent is going to be where you can sit the stand for the license plate holder. So you would just screw this Allen key in and it would end up holding the detent in place where you want it. You just lock that in. See right there it's loose, but as soon as you lock that down, this ain't going to move anymore. Then it comes with these caps. Everything's billet machined very nice. So we got these caps. So this is going to sit in here, in here. It's going to have your two Allen bolts like this. So one will go here, one will go here. You're going to lock those down. And this is going to allow you, as you can see, and I just got them sandwiched, but you get, it allows you to rotate along that ball head on the end of it so you can position it gives you some movement, some articulation, so you can position the license plate holder at the height and angle you would like. These four screws here would go into the actual holder, which again is a piece of aluminum. It looks like it's a, either powder coat or electric coat, I'm not sure, but it's got a nice coating on it. These one, two, three, four holes will hold these four screws that hold your license plate like so. And lastly, these two smaller screws are going to be used through the countersinks. And you see there's a lot of options. They give you a bunch. It's like Swiss cheese options of where to put the back end of this plate to line up to two holes like so. So you can adjust the height and left to right on this holder. So, very complete kit. Uh, I think Renlist listed about $125, $130. Bucks. I don't remember. Uh, that's one of the first things we ordered because we knew we had to put one on. So we're going to go ahead and put it on. 
and then we'll show you when it's all done. All right, so you like how I mauled my thumb there and my hand installing a grill and a air intake filter. Anyways, before I continue, first of all, thank you to all our subscribers. Small group, but a good group. And please, why not? We babble about some cool stuff. We do it in our house. We do it ourselves when we can, most of the time. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Give us a like. You might actually like what you hear sometimes. But anyways, continuing on with the Renlist license plate adapter. I assembled it together. So this is a four and a half metric Allen key. And we threaded all, and these are all, these are, um, also four and a half metric so we got this on there and we threaded it all the way into the into the tow hook uh, uh, receptacle until it stopped and I started with about three holes exposed and then I worked myself all the way in until the this hole was pretty much recessed in the bumper and only this hex bolt was showing here this is a 17 millimeter so we're gonna, you're going to thread it all the way in. It may be different for different models, but for the Cayman, the 97.2, 2009 to 2012, that's where I set it. You might want it to stick it out another six inches. That's your car and it's up to you. So we're going to go ahead and put that on and uh, lock it down and show you the finished product. All right, all installed. Very well constructed. We decided to flip it around so the Renlist logo, I'm sorry, the, the, uh, yeah, the, the Ren logo is facing the bottom. So the Allen head bolts here protrude a little bit, but it allowed us to bring at, the, at this location, bring the holder down right below the bumper line here. It looked a lot cleaner than sticking above the bumper line. It is a really nice piece, really well done. I love it. Um, unfortunately, on this car, shoving the license plate between the dash and the windshield is probably going to cause more harm than good if I wanted to take that risk. It's a really tight fit on the Porsche, so we're not going to do that. Um, this is a 17 millimeter head right here with an open end wrench. We can undo this and slide that off all the way at a car show or at a meet or if we didn't want to put it on for a photo or whatever. It, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't take more than a couple minutes. It was a lot harder on my old Supra when we had a custom made one. Also, this is really tight, but it still moves. And as you can see, this is the maximum movement you get. It still gives really good clearance left and right on the bumper, okay? so. It will not hit. It's really nice. Again, it's really well done, really well thought out. And yeah, so we'll put our license plate on the front and we'll be done for the evening. And hope you all enjoy it. Have a great week.